was originally uh, called Happy Face. But no, Bundy. Then I, I got I got the Bundy idea, and I thought, you know, that'd be kind of cool. And because I always felt that the ending just kind of hung there. The original ending, it was called Happy Face. Because uh, we see that this roll of, ha of smiley face stickers falls out of his backpack as he and the girl are leaving. And then we cut to a newscast that talks about the serial killer who leaves these smiley face stickers on all of his victims. And that's when the audience is supposed to clue in, oh, this this guy that's just told this huge story has just been a rouge to lure this girl away and he's going to kill her and leave one of these happy... F you, know, we, you know, that's where we clue in on who the kid is. It just kind of jumped out there and just kind of like hanging there aloof, you know, sort of in limbo. I, I didn't really feel it connected to anything. So the Ted Bundy thing sort of uh, tied everything together. The story um, scared the pants off me at points. The ending was a surprise ending. Kind of threw me off. It's a great story. So I heard about this film and that Spafey was doing it, so I wanted, I really wanted to get on it. And so I went and auditioned for it and everything, because I knew it would be a great script from what I've heard of Spafey's writing. And I come across a lot of writers in my, in this field, and it was a lot of fun working with Spanky, and Spanky's a very talented person. When I first got the script, Spanky started t telling me about Ted Bundy and all this, and he pulled out this all these um, clippings and all this, and it kind of, uh, at first I was a little freaked out that he knew so much about this guy. I'm like, Spanky's kind of crazy. Spanky talked to me about it, like he wanted me to get on the internet and learn a little bit about him and, you know, the girls that he'd killed. And... It's not, not necessarily that I'm infatuated with Ted. Well, on the other hand, I do have another s couple serial killer <laughs> scripts, so I know what it is with me and serial killers. I hope I never meet any of them, but uh, they're fun to write about. The guy was very smart. The guy is a freak. Um, and I'll tell you, Robert did an incredible job of portraying Ted Bundy. He did. In this film, I'm going to kill this girl. You know, that's 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 my motive is to try to kill this person. And so it was, it was unique. It was real. It was actually really fun. So I got thank you, Spanky, for letting me play a killer. It's a lifelong dream. Um, everybody did a great job. Everybody sacrificed a lot. Um, it was uh, it was fun set too. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we, we we clicked really well with editing. Just you know, uh, thought a whole lot alike, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Corey's a character, man. Corey's a hoot. He's he's multifaceted, uh, but uh, Corey's a cool guy. Very funny. Very talented. Uh, uh, I, I really, really wish that the laundry mat tendon part would have worked because <laughs> that would have been so funny. I had no idea that I was in, in for an all-nighter. So I hadn't slept for 24, 20, 26 hours. And to try to get in character, um, that character to me seemed like he needed a lot of energy. And I didn't perform well. Jordan Drew Myler. Young Robert, and I believe the Pioneer Boy. His favorite day was with Jordan. Um, I just loved working with that kid. That kid was a dream to work with. His mannerisms offset, the way he conducted himself on uh, in front of the camera. I mean, that kid's a one take wonder. No, everybody did a great job. I, I, I was uh, really impressed with the professionalism on such a low budget set uh, for for the money and the time we had I think we did pretty good pretty good okay please help me and I will love you forever wow. let's do it let's go let's move the textures up let's go <laughs>
Except for Amy. <laughs> the cast was great except for Amy. <laughs> that I could be TV one day. Hey, what's going on, buddy? This is Corey. I'm shooting a movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who the hell's makeup? Spanx. <laughs> this is my gay hillbilly. I hope you like it. Smoke. Back porch, just so you know, because I guess the landlord doesn't want to own the premises, but they're gonna hide you back here. That's what cool. about marijuana? Uh, that you can do actually in here, but we all have to be around so we can hotbox. <laughs> That's what the incense is for. Yeah, yes. Of all, she put corny on the slate. Yeah, that's winning, friends. Oh, what contrast! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's we're up here in Camas shooting, and uh, it's it's not going good. Um, we're like 18 hours behind schedule. Uh, two of the key grips have died. Uh, oh, I need your cash, partner. What do you think this is? A free coin up, you son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Shum, bum, bum, bum. Hey, hey, where I'm on, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, she made fun of my, my singing. Hi. Look how big that wash machine is. <laughs> that is big. Ask me any question, I'll answer it. Do you like our president of the United States? He sucks. Bush is just a little girl. But he's cute. But he's so nice. He's so cute. I mean, wait, he's the same in a little tutu. He so knows how to dress. You know, what it is, it's his suit, the way his butt looks in that okay, suit. Okay, here we go, buddy. So nice. Top over here. Does he realize he's killing me silently inside? <laughs> they call me Mr. Mystical. Look at this magic trick I just learned. Check this out. Okay, let's go. Hey, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Tiffany. She was awesome. uh, my favorite. Uh, she really did kick a lot of butt. What's going on? Listen, um, this part is like really, really getting to me here. So, I'm just going to bounce the ball. You know, it's been about 14 years since I straddled one of these. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and get this thing set up, fired up. A girl, a girl, you I love porno. We gotta